In this video, I will be showing you how to upgrade an iPhoto or Aperture library to Photos so that you can then access your ratings and flags in Nitro. I will also show what happens to edited images. Here is iPhoto running on Mac OS Mojave. I have a set of images with ratings and flags, as you can see. I've also added a keyword or two. I've also edited two images. This one was turned black and white. I will now open that library in Photos, which will upgrade the library to its format. I can do that by dragging it right to the Photos icon. Each version of Photos upgrades libraries differently from other ones, so you'll want to keep that in mind. The library has now been upgraded. You can see right here the image is black and white, and you can see I've also got images that are flagged, and they've actually also been rated. Ratings are converted into keywords, so you can see there's a one-star keyword along with train, and a two-star here. So you'll see different keywords for each star rating, and there's also a keyword added for flagged. As I mentioned, I turned this image black and white in iPhoto. I go into Edit and Photos, then you can see that there's actually no nothing here that's been set because Photos doesn't move the actual adjustments from iPhoto over to Photos. However, there is a Revert to Original button. So you can see the image with and without edits, like this with this button here, and you can revert. If you make adjustments now, it'll make them on top of this black and white image. So you don't lose your edits per se, but they're no longer non-destructive. You can revert them if you want. So you can keep them or revert them. I'll do the same thing with this Aperture library. I have just a few images, but I've done some more things. There are ratings, flags, keywords. As you can see keywords here. Sunset, for example. And I've also edited some images. This has been turned black and white. I've also added a polarized mask as well. This image was also edited. Mostly I just did auto enhance and then turned down saturation to make it easier to tell that it's been adjusted. One important thing. For best results, I recommend that you set your previews in Aperture to Don't Limit and make sure all your previews are up to date. It's also a good idea to set the quality reasonably high. This is fine. If not, there's a chance, again, depending on OS version and things like that, that the migration of edits won't work properly in photos if your previews are not present or if they're not set to high quality and full size. Just like iPhoto, to upgrade the Aperture library, just drag it onto the Photos icon. So you can see here that the image has been brought across, flagged. I also hit info and you can see again, the rating has been turned into a keyword. And then these images are here as well. I go and edit and I can hit this and you can see the adjustments were applied and the revert to originals there. If I go to this train, That doesn't work quite so well. Maybe it's a portrait orientation thing, but the point is that uh, my edits are still present and I convert to original. So it does preserve the information, although again, like iPhoto, it's not going to move across the actual adjustment parameters and sliders and masks, but it does save the image, the image edits as this JPEG. So basically this image is treated as externally edited from the standpoint of photos. So iPhoto and Aperture edits as though they're edited by an external editor. Now I'm going to copy both libraries to a Ventura-based system because Nitro does not run on Mojave, so I can show the next step. I could have upgraded the libraries using Photos on Ventura. That would have worked as well. And now the rest of these steps are the same whether the library comes from iPhoto or Aperture. At this point, after upgrade, they're both just Photos libraries. 
So now this is Photos running on Ventura with that original iPhoto library. As I mentioned, it doesn't matter if it came from iPhoto or from Aperture. And we can see here that flagged is here, for example, and again, the data is all preserved. The first thing you want to do, though, as part of getting these things to be readable by Nitro, is to make sure that the Photos library is the System Photo library. You can do that in Preferences. In the General tab, you want to pick Use as System Photo Library. You need to do that because Nitro is only allowed to read the System Photo Library. That is an App Store restriction. Nitro also cannot read keywords in the Photo Library for a similar reason. Apple prohibits App Store apps from reading that data along with titles and descriptions. So we have to do this in a few steps. First, we're going to make smart albums for the ratings in Photos. So I'll set, remember, keyword to do star. Okay, and I'll do another one. I'm not going to do every single thing. I'll just do a few of these. Again, keyword, three star. Okay, great. It'd be great if this was enough, but unfortunately, Nitro, for the same reason, cannot read smart albums in photos either. So the reason we're doing this is to make it easier when we make regular albums that Nitro can read. So now we go and make a new album. I'm going to call that two stars and make another one here called three stars. And while we're at it, let's make one called flagged. Okay, now it's just a bunch of dragging. Three star smart album, we're going to drag to three star regular album. Two star smart album, we'll drag to the two star regular album. And same for flagged. Flagged goes to flagged. There. So we created albums that Nitro can read and then use the smart albums to fill them up with the right data. So from here, we open Nitro. So Nitro appears and it's made its own little rating folders, but they're empty. So this is where we do our final step. I'm going to take the flagged images here, select all, go to image, flag, flagged. And I'll do the same thing for these three stars. Image, rating, three stars. Okay. One more time. I could have hit the numbers as well, but I just want to show it to you in the menus. So now I'm going to go click on two stars, three stars, and flagged. Everything's there. It also knows that images have been edited. So that image has the edit right there. At any point, you can go back into photos and delete those smart albums and also the regular albums if you want to, because you don't need them anymore. And at that point, you'll be done. You'll have everything moved over as ratings in Nitro. And that completes this video on preserving ratings and flags from iPhoto and Aperture. Thanks for watching.